Hello, Laker Nation. This is Cooper Bourdon reporting from Grand Valley TV from Georgetown Ice Arena alongside with my associate, Andy Smith. And we're here for the colossal game between uh, two top 10 teams, the number two Grand Valley State Lakers and the number seven Michigan State Spartans. So, Andy, Grand Valley has looked great on home ice so far with an 11-1 record. What can we expect to see from this offense? Well, Grand Valley on home ice, like you said, has looked really good. Um, we can look for them to see to basically protect home ice. Um, with that prolific scoring offense, they've scored 150 goals in 23 games, which is really good. Um, that's about four goals a game. So look for the Lakers to try to control the puck, control the tempo, and just rely on their offense. I mean, their goaltending is pretty good too, so. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, what players specifically can we expect to see from Grand Valley State to hopefully win this game for the Lakers? I would say the player to look out for is number 15. He's a right winger. He leads the team in he leads the team in goals. He scored 21 goals this year, and he also leads the team in points with 40. That's uh, Jacob Indicott, if yeah. I'm not mistaken, Yes, right? that is correct. That's yeah, Jacob absolutely. Indicott. That's, he's basically averaging almost two points a game, which at a collegiate level is really good. There's some NHL players that don't even average two points a it, game. It's very impressive. Now, on the other side, we have the Michigan State Spartans, who as well have a very, very impressive record on home ice at 7-1, and one, but... They're not so great on the road, are they, Andy? No. Um, generally at a college level, or even it's true at any level, um, generally teams want to protect home ice, and they if they go 500 on the road, they're pretty happy with that. That's generally why Michigan State is ranked number seven in the country, because they're really tough to beat at home, and with a five and six record on the road, they try to just stay in games. Yeah, well, ho Hopefully, for the Spartans' sake, they can do that tonight. Now, obviously, both teams would love to walk away out of this arena with the win. What are going to be the keys for the Lakers to win and the keys for the Spartans to win? I would say a key for the Lakers is just to keep doing what you're doing. They're a lot, they have one loss on the season at Georgetown Ice Arena and get their prolific offense going. Control the puck, control the game, control the tempo. Put pressure on that Michigan State defense and the goaltenders who... Both are giving up about three goals. They're averaging about three goals a game given up. So let's see if this Laker offense can keep the pressure on. And on the other side for the Michigan State Spartans, a key is basically the opposite side. They want to see, figure out a way to, <laughs> excuse me, a way to shut down this high scoring Laker offense and control the puck on their aspect for the same reason. I mean, if Grand Valley doesn't have the puck, they can't score. It's like the old saying goes, defense wins championships. Now, in the past five years, these teams have met 12 times. Grand Valley has come away with six wins, and the Spartans have come away with five along with one tie. It is sure to be a very, very exciting game. The arena is electrifying. The students are in the seats. The band is playing, and we are getting ready to take you to center ice for the national anthem. This is Cooper Bourdon reporting alongside Andy Smith. We'll see you soon.